Greetings, Raiders of the Iron Islands. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to our Iron Price series right here in the Realm of Thrones mod. Now, there is no face cam for today's episode just because it, it has been a very long work week uh, for both the Queen and myself. And so, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking kind of rough, guys. I'm looking kind of rough. So, uh, today's video will most definitely just be, like, straight up, uh, gameplay content. So, uh, without further ado, let us get back into the, uh, the conflict here, lads. Now, unfortunately, uh, you guys have decided in the comments section of last video that despite the foolishness of Balin Greyjoy, uh, we are not going to defect from the Iron Islands. In fact, we will be playing this out, uh you know, just beginning to end as a true Ironborn Raider, being true to our way of life, true to our word, and true to our people, unfucking fortunately You guys just love seeing me get my ass beat, is what I'm, you know, is basically how I, I interpreted that, so. I'm not entirely too keen on going towards the north and, like, picking a fight with the northerners, just because I believe they are stronger than us, and we we literally only have 50 men. But uh, we will be going out and doing this nonetheless. Running from Mage Mormont. Oh, God. Where is she at? Hold on. Well, Flint's finger is taken, which is cool. Oh, God damn. Ah, this is awful. I can't believe y'all did this to me. Look at this fleet, dude. Mage Mormont. Yeah, and she's, she was heading towards uh, Old Wick. Kraken's Nest is being uh, raided right now. Good God. Yeah, and Ten Towers has been taken by the Hornwoods. Uh, <laughs> in this episode, the Iron Islands might fall. But if you have not noticed, I have, in fact, uh, reset the Diplomacy mod uh, settings. I will set them back to the Static Wars for our stormlander series our hammer and anvil series just so that we can finish our war with the uh with the lannisters and once we uh officially wipe out the lannisters from westeros forever uh i believe that will be the natural conclusion of our series of the uh the hammer and anvil but for the time being uh the diplomacy mod is in fact active Oh, man. So th this sucks. I'm not going to take part in this battle. Cape Kraken is already being raided. Damn. I can either return to Lonely Night and try and defend the Iron Islands. Or I can go out and start raiding into enemy territories. Because somebody's already here uh, raiding Cape Kraken. Either way, it's going to be tough. We're kind of stuck here. In, the, in this shitty situation. Thanks to Balin Greyjoy. Oh, Wendell Mandalay. I do not doubt that he was the one who was uh, raiding Kraken's Nest. Yeah, but we're just not nearly strong enough to take on any of these guys, if I'm being honest. At least not yet. Yeah, this, this war may be over soon. Very, very soon, actually. Oh, look at that. The rebels demand that Balin Greyjoy abdicates their throne. That's wild. Yeah, so we, we do have the diplomacy mod up and running now, which is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, I think our best bet, honestly, is just to try and increase our renown. Or our, yeah, our renown, right? Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> we still have, like, 70 renown we got to gain before we can... Uh, you know get stronger so that is what we will be doing for this episode train troops i think not oh, we've been doing good against these pirates do i want to take out this hideout yes i do <sighs> yeah we only have two ironborn knights oh, i completely forgot about the rule i put on myself i'm so mad I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Alright, lads. Follow me. We'll clear out this pirate scum. 
We are the only true raiders of the seas. We can barely allow our uh, competition to reign in on our territory now, can we? All right, that was a bit overshot. I forgot my aim is actually really, really good with this bow, so I don't, I don't need to like do too much in the way. Yeah, there we go. Crotch shot, love that. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and level up our bowmanship as well, because we're kind of dog shit with a bow and arrow, aren't we, lads? I yeah. There we go. Hey, yeah. Put it down. Oh. Ooh, god damn. I was about to say, y'all saw that, right? The man was like backing up. That's crazy. Die, pirate scum. God damn. All right, so we're, we're getting better, which is good. Maybe we haven't, like, officially hit a level up yet. But we're getting better. And we're saving our men their strength for the final assault. Let me go for this long shot here. hi -ya! Oh, right over his head. Did it again. Ooh. Ooh. That went right over my head. Not bad. Cool. Yeah, certainly not bad, lads. I don't believe there's anybody else outside, which means we can switch it up and get all our men to charge. Get into those caves and clear them out, lads. Yeah, they're they're just a homing beacon going straight for the uh, the pirates. But I'm gonna come this way and root them out. The sharks have come crawling into the caves. We shall rip them out of their hidey holes. The fighting is pretty ferocious over there. Nice. I really, I really decided to take the long way around, like a fool. And there's nobody up here. Aha! Come here, you bastard! Come on! Nice. There's one man left. Where is he? Oh, no man. The man got him. Good shit, lads. Excuse me. Uh, no, I don't fight duels with brigands. You and your men will die. You will pay the iron price for your life. Ooh. I shattered the man's shield. That's crazy. Nice. Well fought, lads. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Look at the Ironborn Knights. What a bunch of badasses. Super cool. Yeah, so many level ups that we can do, but that we also just can't do at the same time, you know? <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Alright, alright. Soon, though, soon we're gonna get an ass load. An absolute ass load of, uh... Of Ironborn Knights in here, which is going to be super, super cool. Can't wait. We also have a ton of uh, crafting materials, too. Which is going to help us out at least a little bit. But here we are, lads. The uh, the people of the Iron Islands are slowly starting to show their support for the uh, the House Wake. The up-and-coming House Wake. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well, I, okay. 
stamina recovery rate. I don't mind the stamina recovery, but I would like the increased party size. This is where things are going to get difficult because I'm going to have to start making decisions between uh, between our like crafting ability and our ability to command more troops. So while obviously, uh, yeah, that's awesome. 54 men now, lads. Oh, wait. Let's get rid of one of these bottom feeders. There we go. But yeah, um, while the, the crafting of our, you know, our father's weapon is obviously of paramount importance, we are still ironborn. We are still, you know, raiders, and we still have to uh, maintain our military strength and everything like that. All right, honestly, I just need us to lose this war before we lose any more territory, because we've already lost a whole city, and we're about to lose a castle. And that's not what I want. We do have Flint's finger, though, which is cool. Is he still... He's still running away. He's still being chased into the north. Like, straight into Mormont Keep, honestly. Damn it, Balin Greyjoy, you fool. I want to see this. Hold on. Why do the Iron Islands truly follow this man? House Merlin. Or House League? Merlin of House League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not enough fiefs. Ruler is daring. Relations with ruler, minus one. He is also daring. Required score is 100. Current score is 112. Interesting. I, oh, I can't join the faction at all. Oh, I'm a, I'm a mercenary. Duh. <laughs> Forgot about that. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. We're still making pretty good money. We have 23,000 gold, lads. That's crazy. All right. Whoa. Encouraging lords to fortify their estates. Castle charters interesting congrats to Roderick Harlaw very nice with his council support uh Flint's fingers under siege now but we're also at 100% please just end this war I beg please hey look more pirates yeah we're gonna continue to hunt down the pirate scum another hideout too love that yeah very nice you bet <clears throat> You best let us be. There's dozens more of us hiding here, just waiting for our signal. Do you think me a fool, pirate? I've been sailing these waters since before I grew hair on my balls. You sail here in the territories of the Ironborn. Now prepare to pay the Iron Price. You'll never take us alive. No, I suppose not. We attack. Alrighty, lads. We prepare for their approach. The fools are going to rush right at us. So we shall conserve our own strength and let them crash upon our shield walls. I feel like I kind of lost the voice for uh, Sir Harlan Wake. Just in the time that I've been doing, you know, a bunch of other stuff. But <laughs> it'll be fine, lads. It's fine. Isn't that right, you hard and ironborn bastards? We fear not. We fear not the death of iron. Nor the sting of steel, nor the call of the sea should she pull us under. This, this is our realm. Everywhere that there is sea and ocean and salt is ours. Archers, as soon as they're in range, open fire on the bastards. I need not wait, however. I am the lord, and I shall do as I please. And I'll rain hell upon them. From the moment they decide to step foot upon my shores. Die to me, pirate bastards. Ooh, let's go. Kill the bastards, boys. Come on. What's his dead may never die. Woo. That was scary. Men cocked his axe arm back. It scared me. Come on, you bastards. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Woo. 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 I think not, you little bastards. Ah, uh, Archer, save me. Thank you. 
Come on, death to the pirate scum. Show them the strength of iron. Very nice. God damn, that was cool. Well fought, you bastards. Damn, they did kill two of ours. Two of our deckmates. So sad. I apologize if I was screaming into the microphone, but, you know, the roleplay, lads. Come on, now. Can't fault me for that. I think 15 is kind of the magic number for our uh, archers, if I'm being honest. So, we're fine here. And see, what I love about our current rule of, like, you know, uh, the, the, like, troop tiers, only using, like, tiers 1 and 2 for now, is that our daily party wage is going to be really, really low right off the bat. So, as we continue to make more money from our mercenary contract... Uh, it's kind of just gonna stockpile up. So by the time we are a vassal, we're already gonna have just an ass load of fucking money. Which I think is gonna be pretty cool. I really do not like how that helmet looks, if I'm being honest. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. It's kind of growing on me. My only issue is I like how my hair comes out of this one, you know? But I also know I can't use just base game gear, uh, the entire time. Not bad. That was very well fought, lads. But I, I really need us to just lose this war, man. Like, please. Yeah, we, we've only done half the casualties to them that they've done to us. Yeah, that's kind of tough, dude. We have 18 heroes imprisoned. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So please just end this war before we lose anything else. I'm going to keep running after these pirates. Yeah, bitter to feet. The armies and people of the Iron Islands are exhausted from the conflict with the North and have given up the fight. Balin Greyjoy must accept terms of defeat and pay war reparations in the amounts of 130... F no way, that's not even... Look, 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma, 1 million... 341,300 dinars. These expenses are will be distributed among all the clans of the kingdom. He also pledges to pay a daily tribute of 5,760. No way! On top of that, Balin Greyjoy has to return Flint's finger back to the north. The shame of defeat will cost him 4,600 influence. Oh my god. This is such a cursed, such a cursed run. And so now the North also has a, a foothold in the Iron Islands right off the bat. Dude, that is awful. I want to see how he's looking diplomatically. Let me, let me see this, man. How's Greyjoy with zero fucking influence? Oh my god. Oh my god, that is awful. That is truly, truly awful. Hey, we can go fight uh, Daenerys if y'all want. We can go beat her up for a little bit. Yeah, the North has fucking 12,000 strength, dude. Like, what, what were we expecting? Jesus, dude. They're literally the largest of all the uh, the goddamn, you know, uh, kingdoms. Larger than the, the other six put together. God damn. Yeah, but th that's the only downside to having the static wars on is that, you know, the reason why the Ironborn were so quote-unquote successful in the show is because all of the northern armies were down here fighting. But when, you know, you're playing in a sandbox type game like this, sometimes they, they travel back and forth. So it doesn't really turn out that way, you know? The north may be at war with the Lannisters and shit down here, but they're not always just down here fighting. We're like going... You know, they're traveling back and forth, they're doing whatever, stuff like that. It's a damn shame, really, but alas, you know, getting our asses beat is just part of the fun, is it not? Damn you, Giles Farwind. Yeah, the glory of this battle was supposed to be mine, you rap fuck. Lost a heavy raider and a watcher. That's a shame. Ugh, fuck you, Giles. Yeah, we lost an archer, so let's get an archer. There we go. 15 is the magic number. We can get 22 Ironborn Knights. We don't have any houses or uh, mounts to get any of these uh, Ironborn Riders yet. But honestly, it's fine, lads. It's fine. All right. 
We have too many prisoners. We have too much, uh, too much loot. So let's stop by a city somewhere. All right. So axes already do, like, pretty good damage. What I want is a uh, swing speed, just because they are they are quite heavier. Uh, tight formations, please. If I were to get war mounts, these are noble mounts. There we go. War mounts. The cheapest one is 600, which isn't bad. Which means we could start stockpiling some horses in order to get uh, some riders once we hit clan tier 2. Yeah. Let's let's see how this would look. We'd end up paying 9,000. That's a, that's a little less than half of our number, or half of our money. Which isn't terrible. It'll also help out with our speed, I believe. It might. Yeah. Let's try it. Fuck it. We still have 14,000 gold and we're making at least a little bit more from our mercenary contract. So, not entirely worried about it. Lady Taliza. Compassionate and munificent. Mu munefic munificent? Munificent. Yeah, munificent. Interesting. Now, she's not an ironborn, but should I add her into my party? Because we could use a medic, for sure. But not right now, so. Uh, let us ransom our prisoners. Lovely. Love that. And then, uh, while we're here, time to upgrade our smithing. Just a tad bit, lads. Do I have? I do have stuff. I need more charcoal. I need two, four, six. I have one, two, three... Oh, look. I forgot about that. Perks. Fucking amazing, dude. Hell yeah. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Must rest. Man, my ass. Maybe that stamina perk <laughs> would have been helpful. Good morning. Time to get to smelting once again, lads. Smoke, 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 smoke. Perfect. Flat pommel for one-handed axe. Not quite what I wanted, but uh, that's alright. Maybe we can make some more money by doing some... Yeah, some, some stuff here. Forge. Client is satisfied. Dunzos. Throwing knife. Uh, it doesn't have the weapon reach that it needs. Which is unfortunate. That's kind of as close as I can get it. Oh, I don't have all the materials. Oh, I need one more. Hold on. Client is displeased. I got 50 from that, but I don't really give a shit, dude. There's four more orders, but... Ah, okay. Not enough uh, skills. That's fine. Two-handed axes. Oh, we've got more parts. A flat pummel. Damn, that's kind of it. What we need is this. The billhead. Because even if we just turn it with, like, make it with this shitty little stick for a handle for now you know that's gonna help us out either way lads now there is also the option of uh you know now there is also the option of going out into the iron islands and purchasing uh two-handed axes and then uh, smelting those down. But you guys let me know if that feels like cheating or not, you know? I'll leave it up to you if that's something you would like. Just so we can, you know, potentially get the goddamn black hook as soon as possible. Or if, uh... Ooh, fuck yeah, dude. Ah, uh, Roderick Flint, you rat bastard. That's alright. Oh, wait, the hideout. Duh. I forgot I was gonna come knock out this hideout. Yeah, caught their asses. Remember when we were scared of the pirates in the first episode? We saw them and we were like, <gasps> oh my god. But now, now look at us, lads. We are the bane of pirates. We are the slaughterers, the murderers. Forward. Maybe like that. That's fine. Hiya. 
right, well, that's not going to do us any good. So prepare yourselves, my ironborn raiders. You <laughs> bloody bastards. This is our moment. Every moment is our moment. Fuck it, lads. I'm not some puffed up uh, mainland lord that I know to give some, uh, you know, some badass speech. I lost my train of thought. Fuck it. Charge it, lads. Kill the bastards all. I've got them turned towards me. They're distracted. Ooh. I am the shield shatterer. I am the bane of pirates. The slayer of uh, criminals. God damn. Yeah, little bitch. Jesus. Dude was uh, giving me a run for my money, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Archers, have at the bastards. Let none escape. Hold on, give me my horse. Come along, Sea Biscuit. That's not my horse's name, but, you know, because we're Iron Islanders. Aw, oh, damn. They got him first. That's fine. Not bad, lads. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, w I was fully prepared to, like, give a, a nice inspirational speech and everything, and I just kind of <laughs> I stumbled over my words. I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm so sorry, guys. Am I just losing my ability to roleplay? Is that it? Have I become a failure as a as a role player and a voice actor and a YouTuber? Oh no! <laughs> you know what? We'll just blame it on the fact that I'm tired. It's fine. Wait until nightfall, and we'll take the fight to these pirate bastards. Look at all these brave Iron Islanders. Where were you? Where were you when they t knocked down our ten towers? When they turned ten towers into nine towers? You rat bastards. Honorless all. It's alright. Now that we have the diplomacy mod activated, perhaps, perhaps when we're strong enough, uh, we can start like a rebellion in the Iron Islands, and uh, we can become the Lord Paramount of the Iron Islands. That would be interesting. But for now, it's back to fighting pirates for the time being. Yeah, little bitch. Yeah, little bitch. Eat ass. Hey ya. Oh, damn. Long shot. Ooh. Yeah. I can't believe we're hitting our shots. It's crazy. Oh, I'm out of fucking arrows. That's ass. There we go. All right, come on, lads. That wasn't bad. That was a that was a good run. Yeah, not bad. We really did hit our shots there. That was crazy. As much as I like crossbows, there's something really satisfying about like being an a an efficient and skilled archer. Oh no, am I making the switch? Have I for forsaken my crossbow? In favor of the regular bow and arrow? I've turned into goddamn Legolas. 
What a shame. Come on, you ironborn bastards! Follow me! There's fighting to be done, there's gold to be taken, and iron to be paid. Come on, you pirate bastards, come here! Face your death. That's my hands. Fear the twin sharks of House Wake. Alright, come along, lads. Still quite a few of them left. Like, there's a guy over there on that ship. There's some people over here at these camps. Very interesting. Come on! Should have brought more men with you, you pirate bastards. They had more men with them, but I caught 33 of them outside of their, their little hideout. And now, they shall die. Short of numbers, honorless, and unknown, and forsaken. Woo! Hit that man so hard his clothes came off. Charge through their gates and kill the lads. It's the last of them. Yeets! Yeets! Yeah, you little bitch. Can't aim, can ya? Very nice. Who's left? Did I forget somebody? Did I just like completely miss somebody? Oh yeah, there's probably somebody over there. They're just gonna walk. Come on, you silly bastards. Wonder if I can beat them over there. Hold on. I'm gonna race my men as they trudge through the uh, the bloody wake. Yeah, there's a man over there next to that camp. How did I miss him? How did he not hear us? Look at the dead bodies right behind him. He's just like, wow, these crates are very pretty. It's okay, little pirate. Just look at the pretty crates. No, just look at the crates. Just look at the crates. Bro, you're going to piss me off. Die already, you pirate scum. Damn it. He was mine, you rap bastards. But thanks anyway. All right, kill them all, lads. Oh shit! Oh, I got, I got fucked up. Yeah, I got fucked up. We won though. God damn. Yeah, I, I really got fucked up. I'm kind of embarrassed. I was talking all that shit. Look at all the level ups we can do. Yeah, see, now we have all these, uh, these war mounts. We can get some riders when the time comes. Look at all the level ups we can do. Forty-six men are ready to level up. I can't do anything. All right, it has been slow progress, and we're yeah, we have 49 more renown to go, which is not not terrible, I suppose. I hate to say it, but we might need to abandon the Iron Islands for the time being, and head towards like a more favorable area. If I'm being honest, and the only reason I say that is because there are certain missions that happen here, like encounters, you know. So, like, if I were to do a uh, caravan ambush, I did one at Kenning, or at Black Tide, and then I came out here and I caught the uh, the ambush, like, out here in the open sea, and it crashed the game. So, I'm thinking it's this uh, sailing mechanic that's gonna that's gonna cause some, some issues. So, we might need to head to the mainland for now. Hello, Robin Flint. Or Robert? Robin. No, I was right. Uh, but, yeah, we might have to head to the, to the mainland and... Uh, and offer our services to the mainlanders. <sighs> Which sucks, but alas, we do what we can, we do what we must to pay the iron price. Yeah, see, look at that. There's pirates here and everything. Come here, you bastards. We're not looking for a fight. No, I, you usually aren't, especially when you're outnumbered, but that sucks for you, doesn't it? We attack anyway. Very nice. So we've got this double formation set up, which is looking pretty good. I was like, why am I moving so fast? Forgot I'm on horseback. 
Whoopsie daisy. Alright, you rat bastards. We've killed pirates on the sea. We've killed pirates in their hidey holes. And now we kill pirates on the mainland. All of the western coastlands, all of Westeros, shall know and fear the twin sharks of House Wake, lads. We are raiders, reavers, and ironborn all. Are they, are they going, like, straight for my archers? That's ass. Come on, lads. What does dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. We shall wade through the bloody wake and kill the bastards all. Make the seas and the rivers run red with the blood of pirates and the enemies of the Iron Islands. Woo! 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 Stop it! Just die already! You rat busted. You hear him breathing all heavy as he runs away? That's crazy. Where did he go? He just disappeared. Oh, there's a hill. Bro, what the... What the hell? That's crazy. Oh, no. Nah, he's too far away. That sucks. Oh, let's fucking go, dude. That's crazy. All right, let me let me keep this. Uh... Where the fuck did he go? Where's that last man at? Where did he go? Oh, 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 he's way far away. Yeah, there's not a chance in hell. That's fine. Damn, that would have been cool, though. We lost one deckmate, and a heavy raider was wounded. Not bad. Whew. That was a that was a fun one. That one's uh, a really interesting battle, for sure. Not bad. Yeah, look at this fucking helmet, dude. Disgusting. That's kind of terrifying to behold, though. And it is stronger than what we currently have. I mean, only by one though, so I'm not I'm not really tripping about it. Oh look, there he is, the one man. Yeah, he's gonna run back into the sea. All right, let us see if we cannot offer our services to the Rivermen. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anybody that needs anything here. An Ironborn Rider, interesting. It's a shame we can ill afford them right now. <coughs> Look at that. We're already up back up to like 20,000 dinars, dude. That's crazy. Let's head to the twins. See what the, uh, the Freys are up to. Ah, there's a mission here too. And some robber knights. Ah, see? Army of poachers. Fuck yeah, dude. Excellent. Yeah, lot, lots of axes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, see, if only I could, like, purchase these uh, these two-handed axes, because then we can break those down and uh, and get smithing parts. Oh, I didn't I didn't accept the trade, fucking dumbass. Hey. Yeah, let's let's do this army of poachers mission. first we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have two there we go and 
and then we shall come back later. We head to the Trident, lads. All right, so no spoilers about our upcoming super secret series, but a little bit of lore for you guys. The Trident is this uh, this split of rivers right here, all three of this, you know, from River Run, uh, Sea Guard, and the Twins. Now there are three separate rivers that kind of converge right here. Uh, I think they call this bit the Blackwater Rush. Yeah, because it it comes out. No wait, because Blackwater's down here, so I'm wrong. This is the Blackwater Rush. Um, but anyway, so th this whole river is called the Trident, right? This is called uh, the Green Fork because it comes up from uh, the neck where all the swamps are and shit. This is called the Blue Fork because it comes from Sea Guard where, you know, the, the Blue Eagle of Malister is. I don't know if that's why they named it that, but it, this is called the Blue Fork, I'm pretty sure. And then this is the Red Fork, and it splits the lands of uh, Raven Tree and Stonehenge, the uh, the ancient uh, rivalry between houses Blackwood and Bracken. Anyway, that's all. Hint, hint, spoiler alert, if you know what I'm saying. We wait here for the poachers to arrive, and we fight the bastards. No need for diplomacy or for negotiations. We've been put to the task of putting these poachers down, putting them to the sword, and feeding them our steel, and steel they shall have. Under my command! Under my command, indeed. Now the bastards are gonna rush out at us, and we have the defensive formation of the village, thank god. Forward! Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna move some of my forces up, so they have a better formation here. Arrow! Move! Archers! Move! Footmen! Forward! Archers! For soldiers! Forward! Archer fight. Hiya. Damn. Yeah, get in there, lads. Not bad. Yeah, th this little formation right here, this little hill formation, definitely helped us out, for sure. Go and get the bastards. Come on. Yeah, very nicely done. Yeah, not bad. Certainly not bad. Cool. Yeah, we can get 27 Ironborn Knights or 27 uh, Riders. That's crazy. Uh, so many level ups we can do. Nice. Now we're going to get even more money. That's not going to help us out because it wasn't a mission for the Iron Islands. But uh, it should be fine. See, but now part of me wants to quit the Iron Islands... In favor of the, uh, you know, the Trident of the Westerlands. That way we can go raiding into uh, the Westerlands. But then again, static wars are turned off. So who knows if they're even at war with somebody right now. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the North is at war with anybody. 
uh, the Riverlands. I'm, I'm making good money, so I might just have to stick it out. Ben of the Trident needs help with brigands. We can definitely do that as well. But first, let's head to the Twins. Drop off our loot. Then we can come out here and uh, take out these uh, robber knights. Daffin Vance, hello. Ooh, robber knights. Cool. So we're just going to keep smelting down some of these weapons and shit, which is cool. But I would like to pop out here and fight these uh, these robber knights. Nice. Yeah, they outnumber us, and they have a lot of uh, cavalry. 18 cav, 10 cav. So they have 28 cav. You stop. Give us your silver. We're not playing games. You'd fare much better than being out here, crossing swords with the Ironborn. Right. You're dead. Eh, perhaps. Oh god, wait. Maybe. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that balance of power makes me nervous. But we shall not shy away from the fight, lads. Move! There we go. Yeah, so they're going to rush right into my shield wall. I hope that their horses get stuck down here. That way my archers can kind of like, you know, shoot fish in a barrel, so to speak. I'm hitting horses. That's cool. I'll take it. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Not a bad formation, but my, my archers are left exposed. charge lads Ooh. oh shit oh shit it's kind of even right now. I need it to not be even. Come on, lads, square formation. Oh shit! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, get them stuck in here. Aw, oh, damn. Alright, please, lads, don't let me down. Finish this. Oh, it's close. It's close. But I, I think we have it. Yeah, there's only one left. Come on, kill the lad. There we go. Holy shit. That was devastating. But we did that shit. Fuck yeah. Got 10 renown off of that. 14 influence. Not bad. God, but we lost 18 men. Yeah, 10 watchers. God damn. Yeah, 6 heavy raiders and 2 deck mates. Yeah, that's pretty tough. What is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. And we, the twin sharks of House Wake, 
shall rise again harder and stronger. Uh, we can send the troops. Nice. Oh, they killed another heavy raider in the assault, though. That's tough. Yeah, give me all these prisoners. Yeah, it's still, still no level ups that I can do. God damn, they really cut us down, though. Yeah, very nice. Lordly common pauldrons. Interesting. I might hold on to these. I'm going to start holding on to some uh, some better gear that we find. I was like, that was only one out of three? Nah, it was it was two. I was just making sure. I was like, you rat bastards. Don't fucking play with me. Look at that. We got some more horses. Very cool. Oh, and a hog. Very nice. All right, we're going to wait here. Replenish some health. Uh, Roz the Tana needs help with brigands as well. We could definitely take that out for sure. Yeah, look at that. 36 influence making 1,500 off this mercenary contract. Not bad. There we go. Look at that. Plus 5% raid speed. Let's go. Not bad. Haven't done anything like roguish. No raiding, none of that yet. All right, we definitely need to get our uh, our troop numbers back up. We might be able to take the fight to these robber knights in their hideout to like finish this quest. I think that might be our best bet, if I'm being honest. Especially because... Uh, we wouldn't have to fight them on horseback. Or they, they wouldn't be able to fight us on horseback. Alright. We only have 45 out of 54 men. But. All we need are our highest tier troops. So we shall wait around. And we attack. Yeah. Two Ironborn Knights. A Raider. That's a tier 3 troop. How the hell did you get in here? What the fuck? I'm so sorry, guys. Jesus. Uh, but two tier two, or six tier two uh, heavy raiders. That's fine. Bottom ass. There we go. Come on, lads, kill the bastards. Let's show these mainlanders what us ironborn can do. Alright, obviously I'm fucking dog shit with a bow and arrow in this map. We were doing really good with the last one. But this map, apparently, is just shooting uphill, which is going to be difficult. So I suppose here... We can use it as an excuse to level up our two-handed axe skills, lads. Come here, you bastards. Yeah, look at all the arrows I missed dog shit yeah. <laughs> Woo not bad all right lads charge in there root them out of their caves and kill them all hello anybody home Is there anybody home? Ground. <laughs> For what reason? I have no idea. I should just follow my men, honestly. Yeah, there they go. They found the bastards. Very nice. Oh, they fell. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> not, not bad, boys. Not bad. That was super goofy, but alright. <laughs> I'll fucking take it, man.
All right, kill the bastards. Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. That was kind of easy. Not bad. We'll take the easy ones while we can, because we, because God knows it's not gonna stay easy for long. Nice. Quest completed. Look at that. 37,000 gold, boys. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nicely done, indeed. All right. We're going to continue on. There's another uh, needs help with brigands quest. And there's brigands right here. Perhaps we can catch the both of them. Excellent. Eh? Come here. Yeah, you rap bastards. All right. We are the slayer of pirates, lads. The bane of pirates, the twin sharks. On my command. <clears throat> you know, I know we've done a lot of like tactics battles, but for this one, Full charge. Let's just kill the bastards. Shock and awe, baby. Full charge. Full ironborn charge. Show them the rage of the iron islands. Damn. We're uh, we're pretty good on horseback. I'm actually kind of surprised. We haven't done shit with uh with horseback. See, we definitely should have done the tactics battle because now we're losing men. Ooh, good shit. Yeah, we lost nine men. Eight. Oh, it was mostly bottom feeders. Yeah, not bad. What's his dead may never die, lads. But they did. They died. And it is sad. But, alas. Time moves on, and we do what we must. Yeah, we need more archers. Holy shit. I didn't realize we lost so many damn archers, dude. That's awful. Ooh, let's do baptized in blood. Yeah. Definitely seems like a very uh, sharky kind of thing, you know? I'll take it. <laughs> sharky. <laughs> what, what the fuck, dude? All right. Oh. Don't get too far away. Perfect, yeah. Cut the bastards. Alright, we're gonna send the troops on this one. Yeah, not bad. Nice. Another quest under the belt. 40, almost 50,000 fucking gold, lads. That's crazy. All right, so here's here's all the gear that we picked up from our recent endeavors fighting against the, uh, you know, bandits and brigands and whatnot. Now, we do have this barbute, which doesn't look too terrible. I'm not, I'm not entirely mad at that. But, like, why does the armor just fit so damn skinny, bro? Like, that's weird to me. I don't know. I think I think it looks pretty badass. But I just hate how, like, skinny he looks, you know? Like, that sucks. Because I don't want him to look skinny. I'm not really a fan of that helmet with this armor, though. I like this one a little bit better. Yeah, seems a bit more menacing, in my opinion. Let me try something. Hold on. Why does it change his hair? What the fuck? Go back. 
Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Get rid of all of this shit. Give me my gear back. I don't want to wear some fucking petty ass like bandit armor anyway. There we go. Now we're at 53. Now that we sold all that that pirate gear. That's interesting. Aha. All right, so we, we bribed our way into the keep, right? And Melissa is here with a ladies' night out. Uh, my name is Sir Harlan. Need help with the problem? Yeah, she she wants a champion to fight for her in a in a uh, in a tournament. Reach round two. I can fucking do that. And luckily for us, there's a tournament here at the Twins, and we can do this and end this mission. Or uh, the <laughs> we can do this tournament and end the episode is what I meant. Join the tiny Dreadguard pauldrons. Fuck yeah, dude. We're gonna we're gonna win the uh these pauldrons by the iron price. I hope they're big enough to fit over the uh the vanilla gear though, because unless we have like a a set of modded armor that's actually going to fit with it, we're going to be fucked. Emberlay. That's interesting. Zahal and Frey Cutthroats, Bolton Men, God of the Crossing, Bolton Footmen, Frey Assassins, Patrick, Karstark Men. Interesting. Oh, I don't know if those are going to fit, if I'm being honest, but we'll, we'll hold on to them anyway. Either way, lads. Woo! Yeah, this does not bode well. Yeah, fuck you, Patrick. Patrick, die already. Yeah, there you go, you little shit. Ooh. Damn it. I'm like sweating. Jesus. There we go. There we go. All right, we made it to the next round. All that's left is that horseman and this archer. Woo nice. Come on, Bolton Torturer. Very nice. There we go. Whew. That was crazy. My hands are sweating. All right, lads. So we have made it to round two of the tournament, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember if the quest was to make it to round two or to complete round two. Either way, we're going to shoot to win so we can get these Dreadguard pauldrons, but still, you know, we'll just, we'll have to see what happens. It's me and the Bolton Torturer again, which is good because that man uh, got some shit done for us for sure. Oh god, I'm dog shit with pole arms and on horseback. So this is gonna be difficult. The way I almost stab I tried to stab my own man. Like how foolish of me. Oh, stab the horse. Oh, that's my own man. I did it again, Jesus. You know what? I want Patrick. Fuck you, Patrick. Yeah, fuck you, Patrick.
Ooh, there we go. Come on. Me and this uh, this torturer, man. We're pr we're pretty lethal together. Not bad, dude. Oh, now I've got to fight my own ally. No. Oh well. Oh, with two-handed axes, yes. Sorry, bud, but you're not gonna win this one. Woo! -hoo! The way we both whiffed each other, that's crazy. Sorry, bud. You fought well. But there can be only one victor. And it shall be me. These pauldrons are mine. Aw, oh, damn. I tried to couch Lance's ass. Aw, oh, dude, seriously? That should have been a direct fucking hit. I'm pissed. Horse though, so that's that's something. Yeah, little bitch. Very nice. Whew, not bad. And now we have won the Dread God's Pauldrons, and we have uh, you know, dedicated our win to the Lady uh, Melissa of House Tully. Okay, so that it doesn't look too bad, honestly. It doesn't, it doesn't fit too well with this set of armor, but I'm definitely going to hold on to these. Yeah, definitely going to hold on to those. All right, it, it matches a little bit better with this set, rather than this set right like it doesn't look too good here but it looks pretty good with this one so i think we're gonna switch it back to this uh armor set for now we will hold on to this hood just because you know i love the hood man something about that vlandian style hood but this looks pretty good all things considered i like it but that is all for this episode lads this has been a uh, relatively successful with the exception of uh you know the fact that our our leads lord and our our country was absolutely demolished in the war by the north but uh nonetheless lads yeah look at us we're right there we literally need uh fucking six more renown and then we're we're a clan tier two and we can level up all our troops in a fucking knights and riders and it's gonna be really really fucking cool i cannot wait but that will have to wait i'm super excited but alas it will have to wait until next week's episode lads so until then, always remember honor and service, glory and sacrifice, and what is dead may never die. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my friends.